Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Gotta give it a thumbs up. That was fun. Oh, wow, I did move the rock. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, so how was it? It was wicked awesome. I didn't even know anything like this existed. Yeah. Well, we do it every day. So the rocks that we're on are all petrified sand dunes. When the super volcano went off, they all, all the sand dunes petrified and turned into stone, so that's why they're all roller coastery. No kidding. That's how this developed. Yeah. Petrified sand dunes. <laughs> no, the company you want to go with is Extreme 4x4 Tours. Oh. Or Cowboy Country. More off Cowboy Country. They don't do the hot tubs, but you get a drive. So it's a lot of fun. So this is 85 degrees climb out. 85 degrees. So this hole is just big enough to fit the rig in it. When the front tires start to climb this wall, uh -huh. the back tires are just going to be dropping into the hole. Hey guys, what's up? It's Paul. So here I am in Moab, Utah, and we're gonna go follow around the Extreme 4x4 Tours. What, did you, what is that thing? What, this? Yeah, what is this? This is uh, my old beater 1989 Suburban that I slightly modified. We got nice comfy seats, five-point harnesses, 365 feet of... Uh, NASCAR requirement roll cage. Um, new axles, transmission, transfer cases. You built it? Trains. Oh yeah. yeah, every bit of it, my joy boys. What I'm kind? just telling them I don't trust anybody else to touch my equipment. I got all these people's lives in my hands, you know? That's that's good, that's true. All right, so here we are with Josh with uh, MoabCowboy.com and we're gonna be riding with him. Ready for you? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Woo! My coach. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be going out to an awesome trail called Hell's Revenge. What's this rim here? Like, there's a little rim. Right here? Yeah. That's the volcanic ash line. No kidding. Millions and millions of years ago, a volcano went off. Twice. Oh, and that's what that is? Yeah. So that's two marks? Yeah. Volcanic ash. Great time. It's like being on a slow roller coaster on Slick Rock. It's awesome. Look at him. Holy shit. No, no, no. Oh, no way. You've got to be kidding me. Just hang on tight. I'll keep you safe. You have got to be kidding me. And you guys know how I am with heights and all that stuff, so... I think I'm going to do the rest of this video with my eyes closed. It wouldn't be holy, the first time someone did Holy that. shit, I should have kept them closed. Did you see what's on our right? You're going to be having fun. All right, let's do it. Look at this. This we is call this No Mistake Alley. Yes. No Mistake, no mistake Alley. Alley. No mistakes are This is yeah. This hill here, you have to hit it just right, or you'll tip over. Oh really? Are we just right? So if, just like. Hey, look! This one actually has a door. Remember the last ride I went on? I had to squeeze my fat ass in there. All right, good. This is perfect. Thank you for having the door. Hey, you're welcome. Hold your. Oh. Put your hand right there. Oh. Hey, you know how many surgeries this knee's had? <laughs> All right, here it goes. I do it. Please. Alright. Oh. Alright. There's a little handle right in front of you with your right hand. Like that. Okay. Slide in now, right? <laughs> yep. Holy cow. In case of an accident, do I get out the same way? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Here it goes. Alright, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently these things are street legal over here, huh? Yeah, in the state of Utah. Actually 
vertical right oh. here. Oh. oh, we're not gonna be going on any like edge of cliffs or anything, are we? Not too close. No, I, I won't be able to do this. Yes, sir. Oh my god. No. So we're on our way to the to the what's the name of it? Hell's Revenge. We're on our way to Hell's Revenge, and how far is it from the main part of town? Uh, from the main part of town, you're looking at about four and a half miles. Okay, four and a half miles. It's the most dangerous part of this trip because you gotta be a defensive driver. Around here we have uh, things that we call rubberneckers, and that's when you have a tourist in town, and they're like, oh, like me driving with the camera all the time. So you're gonna laugh at me, but I'm already starting to get nervous. There's a out there, man. You be fine. I mean, look. Are we gonna go any higher than this? And this is straight down. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, probably about a couple hundred feet. Are the roads gonna be thinner? What's thinner? In there? Yeah. So he's gonna come That's... up here. So you got to be kidding me. What's dinner? Thanks. All right, you can't go. Oh, no, 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 keep it clean. No, 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 stay, keep looking this way. Yeah. Oh, what, what was I doing? <laughs> Trail. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna follow them? Uh, yeah. We'll uh, jump up here on this side. Well, we're going up that thing? Yes, sir. You're kidding me. <laughs> I don't kid. <laughs> Holy shit, and I was afraid in the sand. Oh. Oh my god. We're going up that? Yeah. Has anybody fallen on? Uh, not that I've ever seen or heard of. But Should I wear my seatbelt or take it off just in case? Leave your seatbelt on at all times. I'll keep you safe. You are kidding. Is that the is that like the scariest thing we're going on? Oh! 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 Shit. <laughs> it looks scary. Yeah. But it's the easiest one we're going to climb today. It only looks scary because of the sheer cliffs and sudden death on both sides. That, that's the easiest one? <laughs> that's the easiest one we're going to climb today. No. Nice gradual climb on that one. Some of these are going to be climbing at 60 degrees. And this guy's not even staying on the friggin' trail. That's the only part that worries me on this whole trail. Really? That's a little bit, uh, but, yeah, so you are kidding. No, I can't uh, do this. It's going to be a great time. You're, you're joking. I will keep you safe. I promise I will keep you safe. <sighs> You heard that, it's on video. I'll keep him safe. Holy shit. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah? Well, we'll keep you safe, man, I promise. This, he said He said this is the easiest one we're climbing up? Yeah. yeah. It only looks harrowing. Yeah, that's not bad. I thought you wanted did, to... Did you see my... You saw the video, the sand video, right? Did you see my face on that? That was a lot faster. I might want to go fast just to get this shit over with quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why am I doing this? Oh, you gotta keep it exciting. I gotta find me some jet ski adventures or something. Alright, so who do we have here? Captain who? I'm Cassidy. Captain Cassidy. Yes. So you're gonna take good care of us, right? Well, the policy is as long as I bring 80% back. guys look right up here underneath this ledge. Um, it's that cave kind of to the right side there, a little alcove. Yep. It's an old Indian room. Ooh, cool. Wow. What is it? 
an old Indian dwelling right there. You see where those rocks are piled up? An what? old Indian ruin, huh? It's actually not a dwelling. Um, Storage? That's where they would just put their food. Exactly. The indentations on the flat rock are dinosaur tracks. Safer and lower. Yeah. This is ball pit adventures, right? That's what you need. A what? A ball pit adventures, like a McDonald's or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. A bounce house. Bounce house adventures. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. This is gonna be the last video, <laughs> and hopefully it gets posted. So if I don't make it back and somebody finds the camera, holy sh! This is three hours. Why are they going so slow? You know, it's safety first, then I, fun. You know, this is freaking crazy. And I was afraid in the sand. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen the sand video. How much screaming was there? <laughs> How much screaming was there? There was a little bit of screaming. <laughs> give you guys a little bit of instruction. See this right here? This bar back here? That's called the old crap handle. Yeah. So hold on to that I when we... Else, you call it something else. But we got kids <laughs> present. You have that bar right there. Okay. Oh, that bar. Right, if you just... That is friggin' straight down over there. Look at that grip. And this is straight down. Holy cow. And you have this handle down here. Oh, I'm not gonna put you in reverse? Nope, that's a okay. hold on. All right, so here we go. And this is three hours of this shit we're gonna do? <laughs> yes, sir. This is the easy part. Yay. What's the cost just to do this part and get me the hell out of here? <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. You okay? Oh, uh, you know what, honestly? This is gonna be one of the few times you see me smiling. <laughs> look at him, look at him, he's tripping over sideways. This is just the normal trail, we didn't even get to the good stuff yet. I mean, are you serious, really? <laughs> it gets, it does get worse than this, huh? I wouldn't say worse. I wouldn't say it's worse. It's better. It's better. No, no, my God. Oh my god. Oh. Now they're gonna fall on us, great. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all smiling. <laughs> this is crazy. And look at the little kids in there. You know I'm from Florida, I'm a, what do you call us? Flatlanders. Flatlanders. <laughs> Fifteen pounds? Oh my god, he's squeaking. Fifteen pounds of air? Fifteen pounds. Holy cow. Oh my god.
surprise hops in there? Well, let's see. This week we've got that chunk out of the rocks, that chunk out of the rocks, that scrape from somebody flipping over. This is a separate flip over here. That's from somebody. You got all these chunks over here. That's just this week. That's just from this week. It takes about a week and they turn back to brown from more tires and dirt rubbing on them. This is every couple days somebody hey, flips over. Tell us this. what company it is so we know not to go with that one. <laughs> And right now I am looking straight down at him. Straight down. Look at this. There he goes. for him holy cow you made that look so easy that's my job it's really not that easy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I can see it's not that easy because everybody else is passing it <laughs> has anybody been has anybody been more scared than me um i have had a turn back once oh turn back oh they call them turn backs yeah he had one turn back should we go for number two? <laughs> Remember guys, it's a turn back. <laughs> I apologize if I keep bouncing you around. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can help it, right? <laughs> See, when I put my sunglasses on, that's when it's time to get serious. See, We're not gonna do that, are we? Oh my God, we are? We'll go right here. We're just gonna watch him, right? Yep. Still looking for the 60, huh? Yep, the 60 uh, <laughs> will be. We'll, we'll hit that one later today. Oh my God! Yeah, car wash is what? Uh, Mickey's is 85. All right, right? don't talk to her, please. Yeah. Look forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. You know, I'm just looking for skid marks down there. So far, I don't see any skid marks, right? No. Oh, thank God for the arrows telling us which way to go. Because. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh shit. There goes the glasses. Hey, what's the weight limit on this thing anyway? Uh, I think we're about there. <laughs> oh my god. A couple of husky guys like ourselves ain't a problem for it. Oh my god. And we're going up a bigger one than this? Yes, sir. Shit! No, no, no! Oh, no way! You've got to be kidding me! Just hang on tight. I'll keep you safe. You have got to be kidding me! This is shit! How, why do you put the fat guy in the front seat? Oh. It's all about balancing out the rig. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you, you guys are friggin' sick in this town. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do for fun, man. God, you really, you know what? You really have to trust the people that you're going with. You do. Here. <laughs> we're, we're more wholesome down here in Moab, Utah. Oh my. You trust us. You guys are sick. Holy shit. This is friggin', what, how many degrees is this? this like this? Right here, oh. I'd say it's steeper than the last one we went up. Steeper? Steeper, but yeah, no shit. Should I, than what we went up, but. Should I lean back? <laughs> kind of like you're riding a horse down a hill, right? Oh yeah, just what I do every day, ride a horse down a hill. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is friggin' nuts. I mean, you're not scared at all, like zero. No, I do I mean, you're not so nervous long. at all, zero. Zero, you know, I'm nervous, but I'm just, I play it safe. You know, I can't come out here right. with hockey. If I was hockey, then something would happen. I respect this area a lot. 
Well, how, how the hell do you play safe? I mean, what's safe here? If we played safe, my ass wouldn't have been here. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's safe. True. That is true. Playing the safe is hanging out back at the motel room, right? That's exactly. Going to the beach. <laughs> Where's the beach? But well, there's no sharks out here, man. Oh. Yeah. I'm How just getting the sharks today. Oh my here. god. Oh my god. Here we go again. You enjoying yourself? Man? Oh my god. Did you hear him squeaking? I did. They say that's your tires chirping. Hey, I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> it ain't for me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You were on the high side right there. High, high side. side, yeah, high side, yeah, right. <laughs> let's let's stay up here. I mean what holy cow, look at down there. Look, I see you leaning. I saw you leaning. Oh my god, this is another one of those. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Wow, look at this. How many hours are we into this already? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? <laughs> and we still have another two hours, two hours and 45 minutes? Yes, we of do. this? Yes, sir. Where's the nearest hospital? About 15 minutes to the road. <laughs> Can we use that as the next 15 minutes? Out here, they just fly <laughs> helicopters in to get oh. you. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'm gonna downshift here real quick. Yeah, you just do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, go ahead. Show you some cool geology right here. You see these bumps sticking out of the ground? Uh, yeah. Rock? Oh, these bumps, yeah. Yeah, these little ones down here. Right. Those are uh, iron deposits from when a volcano exploded. Oh, oh. They're the only things that didn't uh, um, erode. They're, they're stronger than the rock that we're on right now. in the country. 
country to do this? We think so. They say that Hell's Revenge Trail is the most sought after off-road destination in the Western United States. Hydrate. That's a lady that got dehydrated and passed away. It's a memorial for her. No way. Yes, yeah, so that's why we oh, always want to thing. hydrate. Really? Drink your water, yeah. The Jeep and wants to come out but wants to drive it themselves and wants a guide, they can hire me or David. Wait, so, so, so tell me, tell, okay, start again. So then. if somebody rents a Jeep and wants a guide and wants to drive it themselves, they can rent, they can hire me or David to ride with them and tell them exactly where to go, exactly where the box are. So, not to go. so they hire. Oh my God. Okay. So 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 uh, they can call like to a four by four extreme and yeah. hire you guys to ride with them and tell them exactly what to do. Okay. So uh, well, I wouldn't do that myself, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that oh, would yeah. love it, right? Oh yeah. And the first time they do that. Oh yeah. And are they nervous at all? Uh, sometimes. Is there a, what do they call it, a turn back? Yeah, usually not. Usually if they, if they have the uh, cojones to, yeah. to rent a Jeep on their own and want to come out, so, they so, feel a lot more comfortable with a guy with them. So who do they call, what number? 435-260-8913. And what's the website? Extreme4x4tours.com. And you'll talk to me, Stephanie. There you go. Holy cow, I wasn't concentrating. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man, that was a, that's the, the funnest she had right there. Actually, I wasn't even watching yeah, the drill. Yeah, actually, the best time I had was talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see the danger, huh? No, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so uh, uh, if somebody wants to get in touch with you and uh, go for a ride with you, since if I can do it, then anybody yeah. can. Yeah, but if you can hang out with me, anybody can. That's hang out exactly. With you, right? uh, if you want to get a hold of us, you want to go to www.moabcowboy.com. That's M O A B cowboy.com. And what you're going to do is uh, go on there and you'll see booking links and contact links. You can also find our uh, telephone number on there as well. You can live out here if you want to. Yeah, live out here? Yeah, there's uh, rabbits you can hunt, uh, there you go. cactus you can get water from. Where's the beach? Uh, it's about 250 feet below us. 
Is there a big drop on the other side of this? Yes, sir. Can we I, can we I'll, just, going you know, I'll get out. I'll just. I'll get, sure. Yeah, I'll get That's you. That's a long walk, man. Yeah, I'll fucking walk. <laughs> 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 I'd rather just videotape you doing it. Yeah. That? Okay. It's either that. Okay. It's either that or what is it called? A turnabout or turn a roundabout or turn around turn or get my freaking ass out of here. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you saw what's on the other side, you probably wouldn't have done this. <laughs> it's all about the view, man. You gotta come up and see the, the awesome view. Shit. Look at this. So, uh, so what's the company you got here? It's called Moab Cowboy <laughs> Off-Road Adventures. Yeah, I had to think about Take it. two. Take two, and... So what you Moab got? Moab Cowboy Country Off-Road Adventures. That's what it's called. There you go. Yeah. So how do they find you? TripAdvisor on the web uh, through what's it, word of mouth. What's the number? Area code 435-220-0746. You got a good driver there, let me tell you. Oh yeah, he's he's quite the kid right here. You know I'm a good driver? Because he owns a company and I'm scared if I break something, he's going to come after me. I whip him like a dog. <laughs> well, if you're going to break something, keep it off of here. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had some fun flying around. A drone over here. Holy cow, we got to go down that? Right there? We're going down yeah. right there. I'll meet you down there. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, because I can... My excuse is, is I can make a video. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> look, look, look how sweaty I am. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a whole hell of a lot of walking here. You're that was a long walk. You're a crazy man. <laughs> oh my See this God. tree here is a juniper tree? Oh, that's a juniper. Yeah. See the berries on it? Uh-huh. They ferment those to make gin. Oh, that's, uh, yeah.
Do you want us to go up to the sea foam and wait for you? Sure, we're just doing a pee break real quick. Okay. What are we doing? Pee break. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, we're water, so we're water it's where we are environmental friendly. We stop and water trees. We better get the drone out. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, how many freaking people got to go pee? Oh, They're what? hydrated. It's good. Yeah. What the, what the hell are they doing to you guys over there? Okay, well, notice how everybody else took off into the bushes somewhere, and this guy just, like, he's just washing the wheels. No, he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Petrified sea foam. Petrified sea foam. Yep. Wow. That means all this was underwater at one point. Yeah. You know, about like 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you remember skiing here, right? Yeah, I was skiing here that year. So what's harder, going up or going down or at all? Oh, it's all the same. Going up's always a little bit harder than going down. Going down's only hard if you don't have brakes, huh? Right. <laughs> That's how you kind of roll stuff. <laughs> I hope the guy in front of you has good brakes. Exactly. See, don't you feel a lot better now that you've scared you for two hours? I mean, you know what? I'm getting used to it. I mean, look, I could even look down over here yeah, if you stay to the right. And one thing, you're not <laughs> screaming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting... Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. I well, yeah, saying. because... <laughs> holy shit. through rigs um, we take very good care of these rigs um, we every once in a while we have minor maintenance on them but these Kawasaki Terexes they're built pretty tough really yeah we went to these rigs because we haven't had any problems with them okay that's good to know especially when you're going downhill and the brakes are still working something oh, maybe. Okay? good hopefully it was a bug yeah. <laughs> I said something fell off my head I was wondering if it was blood or if it was all right so this time since my head is almost sticking out, look what I got. <laughs> I am ready for this. See, perfect. No. There you go. Now I'm ready. Yes. No. Okay. It's okay. I'm training CPR. Yeah. Oh, the bike path. The motor. The bicycle path. Yep. Yeah, not motorcycles, right? Oh, oh motorcycles. Oh, too. there's motorcycles on here yeah. too. Two wheels or one wheel. This is straight down. Extreme unicyclers. They yes. come out here Extreme all the time. unicyclers? Yeah. 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 They come out here. It's funny. You'll see like 30 of them. They all have helmets on, wrist guards, everything. And, and the unicyclers will come out here and just tear it up. Unicycles. Oh, wow. I saw a guy out here. Those are some hardcore dudes. Last year, we had a guy out here on the Segway. He yeah, brought it out. Segway. Yeah, he brought it out. Yeah, he brought it out. Yeah, he brought it out in the Jeep. on the video but what's the incline on this thing this one right here we're good about between 45 and 55 degrees between 45 and 55 degrees what will these trucks go what's, what's the max incline that those trucks will go um he's gonna be climbing out at an 85 degree one 85 degrees yeah. he's gonna do it today yes sir with those little kids in there yeah. Trail there, tough guy. This is the easy route over here. 
This is the easy route? See the little white uh, marks out there? Yeah. Those are alternate route paint marks. Uh huh. We could have done that one, but we might have tipped over. Really? Yeah. I have to hit it just right in this and ring. And I wasn't even scared of that one. Yeah, it's the little ones that get you. Huh. So we are looking up right now, majorly. How's it going, Captain? Oh, good. I forgot my serious glasses. <laughs> it's going good. Yes, folks, there is somebody there somewhere. There he is. Let's show him how it's done. Oh my god, this is straight down. So like, okay, 85 degrees. So what is this? This is probably 45. This is 45? Yeah. And he's going on an 85? Yeah, he'll be climbing an 85 here pretty soon. I'm convinced you guys in this town are smoking something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, look at him. So we call this little hill two-wheel drive hill. We don't need four-wheel drive to get up it. Oh, you don't need four-wheel drive. Look, we're like pointing. Or like it's almost. So our bumper's almost touching that. Yeah, rock. exactly. See that? You ready? Look at that. The bumper is touching a rock. Oh my god. Woo! See, my favorite thing to do to people is right here. I'll be driving like this, and we're going off this hill right here. And then, and then you make that face. The camera wasn't on you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dip right there gets people every single time. You know what? I'm glad that I made the face and you did it. Yeah. You notice I was watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun one. Holy, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, my God. Holy shit, straight down. Actually vertical right here. Oh, and, vertical. and it's it's we're vertical and it's whole and it's whole oh my god. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that hill right there is called seat pincher. What's that? It's called seat pincher. Seat pincher? Because your butt cheeks grab a little bit. Oh seat, seat pincher. I just... <laughs> we want that seat back yeah. when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Look at this. This is no mistake alley? Yes. No mistake, no mistake alley. alley. No mistakes are all. This is, yeah. This hill here, you have to hit it just right or you'll tip over. Oh, really? Are we just right? We are just right. trail here like every like uh, I'm, I'm uh, educated on the area <laughs> and, oh that's where he went up that thing right there yeah, he went up there. yeah look at that Look 
Take that drop on the left. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Look over here. Look at that drop. The name of that one that I was told is called the Devil's Armchair. Devil's Armchair. Yeah. So how deep is this? Um, what would you say? At least uh, 25 feet at least. I'd have to hide a really big yeah. truck in. And he's the only one that could do this.
just stand on the outside so I can jump over anytime I don't feel comfortable. I was gonna say, sir, you're right away too. <laughs> We are like, yeah. You guys are still some sick puppies. <laughs> wait until the next one. Yeah, wait till the next one. Wait till he says, ooh, you okay? <laughs> Is my ring okay? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, kids. I have kids. It's all they watch. Dora you have kids, so see, you want to live, right? I want to live. Okay, good. So, uh, what's your wife think of this? Oh, she loves it, man. She loves it? So does my three-year-old daughter. Don't joke. Don't joke. Oh, I was I promise you, I'm taking the right trail. So you think you're gonna come over here a few more times? I am. Got zip lines here. Got white water rafting. You know what the weight limit is on zip lines? I'm not so positive. It's below my weight. Below your weight? <laughs> this area right here, when it fills up with water, uh -huh. you'll get a bunch of toads out here. Oh really? Toads? Yeah. They'll lay uh, a bunch of pollywogs, catpoles on. Where the hell the toads come from? Oh, they actually are desert toads. What they'll do is they'll bury themselves in the sand. down over there. Look at that grip. And this is straight down. Holy cow. You guys are sick. I, I didn't even know anything like this existed. Yeah. This is called a Mickey's hot tub. Wait, so we're gonna go down it? No, we don't. Dave does. Oh, oh, they, oh, he is. Okay. 85 degrees. Oh, this is 85 degrees? Yep. This is the one? Yep, this is the one. Which, where is it? It's right here. I'm gonna park right here. You can see it because it's a big hole. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Right here. Okay. These guys are sick. <laughs> Which way is he gonna go? In there? Yeah. So he's gonna come That's... up here. So if you come up here. You gotta be kidding me. So this is 85 degrees. Climb out. 85 degrees. So this hole is just big enough to fit the rig in it. When the front tires start to climb this wall, uh -huh. the back tires are just going to be dropping into the hole. Looking straight down at him. Straight down. Look at this. There he goes. for him. Holy cow. You made that look so easy. That's my job. It's really not that easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I can see it's not that easy because everybody else is passing it. Which way, which way are you going? I'm parking right here. Oh, you're going to park? Yeah, we're going to have snacks right now. Oh, okay. All right, and there's the hole that he just went through. Oh, the cow. Where the hell is he going? It's so easy.
Who else can do that? Everybody. Everybody, right? Oh, no, not everybody. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, so tell me about this. The, what's it called? The hot tub? This is Mickey's hot tub. Uh huh. On Hell's Revenge here. Um, so are there a lot of mishaps in there? Well, let's see. This week we've got that chunk out of the rocks, that chunk out of the rocks, that scrape from somebody flipping over. This is a separate flip over here. That's from somebody. You got all these chunks over here. That's just this week. That's just from this week. It takes about a week and they turn back to brown from more tires and dirt rubbing on them. This is every couple of days somebody hey, flips over. Tell us what company it is so we know not to go with that one. <laughs> this is a... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, the company you want to go with is Extreme 4x4 Tours. Oh. We're Cowboy Country. No, I'm Cowboy Country. They don't do the hot tubs, but you get a drive. So it's a lot of fun. So what do you think so far? I think you guys are smoking something. <laughs> it's the good stuff. Exhaust, man. <laughs> like 91. Exhaust. It's crazy. It's, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. This is what we do. I mean, hell, we don't have this in Florida. No? You guys have mud box down there. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna go grab some snacks. Here. See what you, Look what at you that. lack in hills you make up for yeah. in uh, crocodiles, <laughs> alligators. Yeah. All right, so who's gonna help you out? I'm six feet tall, so. You're six feet tall. Put your hand up on a rock that, no, like touch the rock. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Okay, so he's touching a rock and look how much. Oh, shh. Let's see. Over here. And, and, and actually, he's trying to give his hand to somebody to help him back up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I will take something. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. We get snacks here too. This cold is water. great. Anybody else need cold water? Pretty good. Let's see this. Dry trees over there, right behind there. The good dry tree section. He got it. <laughs> we were gonna send in the jeep in after you. <laughs> or actually, it's not. What is, what is that thing? What, this? Yeah. What is this? This is uh, my old beater, 1989 Suburban, that I slightly modified. Into uh, how what do you, it is now. How do you guys feel you're riding in his old beater? Yeah, it feel like a beater to me. <laughs> That's good. It don't feel like one to me either anymore. We got nice comfy seats, five point harnesses, 365 feet of uh, NASCAR requirement roll cage, um, new axles, transmission, transfer cases. You built it? Trains. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every bit of it, my driveway. What I kind? was just telling them I don't trust anybody else to touch my equipment. I got all these people's lives in my hands, you know? That's that's good, that's true. 5.7 liter Chevy 350 throttle body. Got headers, intake manifold, and big cane in, but other than that, it's all about the gears. <laughs> wow. Engine, gas tank, steering wheel, windshield, everything else I changed. I left the VIN number on there. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, so how long you been running this? This is my third year. This is your third year. Yeah. And you can do more than anybody else can on this here, huh? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm the only one that's got the guts to do more than anybody else does, I right. guess. I don't know. I just, I do what I think is fun and everybody else seems to like it. The other companies, no other company in town will touch that hole. You can't pay a company in town to even go in that hole. But that, Hell's Gate, there's a couple guys who will run up Hell's Gate, but not that hot tub right there. Hell's Gate, did we do that? That's the one that's you had the, the helicopter going on. Oh, that one, okay. Yeah. Oh man, you you got no. I mean, somebody asked what do we think. I mean, did, you have to be a whole different breed of person to do this, man. When I was just, six years old, I swore someday I'd race the Baja 1000, and I don't have any racers or off-roaders, anybody in my family. So this is as far as I've gotten right here. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. That's not a bad machine. It's got some more stuff coming into it this winter. A new motor, whole new front end, suspension-wise. Mm -hmm. A bunch of good stuff. What? No, there's some lights over there, right? That's right. our way out. That's, that's our way, way out? Yeah. That's, uh, that's the roller coaster he's about to go out. The roller coaster? You know when I uh, uh, let us roll down real fast? Yeah. Screamed the, he's about the, to go the, out the, there, like the right? sixth time you did that? <laughs> that was right there. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So here we are, man. Yeah, I mean, you guys are crazy. So, like, what else is there to do? Because I'm scared. Well, on our way out, we're going to go down the dragon's tail. I mean, this is this is what we do. We, we do this for a living every day. But we're going to go down the dragon's tail on the way out. There's two paint lines you're going to see. are just wide enough for that thing to fit through. And if you go over the paint lines, it's a roll to the right or the left. And how high is that roll? 
It's about 40 feet down. Yeah, at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, it'll be There's about 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, 30 feet for you, yeah. Oh, six foot five, six foot six. Six, six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Got an extra so, couple feet on it. So you're saying it's as wide as his, Yeah, right? mine, mine barely yeah. fits through it. Yeah. He's got about a, a few inches yeah. extra on each side. But I think we should it'll squeeze through it. Has Let's anybody see. ever fallen? Oh, there's what scratch marks this year on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's people that aren't mean Are safe. Yeah, yeah, people don't realize that the two paint lines with the arrow in the middle means go through the two paint lines. They're just like, oh, wow, somebody came out here and painted this. How nice. And boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we're, we're so, yeah I was going to say, so how long have you been doing this? Um, I came out here in yeah, 2002, yeah. so this would be 12 years, but I had about a 10 year gap before I started actually doing it commercially. Uh -huh. I came out here for a year and did so this you, in a Jeep Cherokee. So you would do it just for fun, huh? Oh yeah, that's that's what got me into this whole thing. Is this is coming what we do on here. our days off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that and fishing. Yeah. <laughs> no, Can you imagine if there was a lake up here, how awesome that'd be? Oh. We could drive, four wheel drive and then fish. Yeah, I'll go four wheeling right to fishing. Yeah. Is this a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't for me. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming out here. Definitely. Thanks for having yeah. me. Thanks. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I've got a, I've got a lot of good laughs today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely. We're going to be subscribing to HD Broadcaster for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, definitely guys. Thanks. All right, let's get home safe now, huh? Right on. Let's go. You guys ready? It's time to get serious. One, two, three, break. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Please take those sunglasses off now. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Be safe. Let's do this. Thing. Hopefully, we'll see all, see all of us there. Oh, we're all in the parking lot. Uh, where are you going? Straight and can then I, to can the I left. Go to, oh, can I walk there? Not, not this part. This Please. is if, if in your... Uh, Okay, wait, I'm not buckled yeah, look, look, look. You don't want to walk right here. Really? Yeah. We're going, which way are we going? We're going to go around this, and then we're going to go... Can we just wait until that. he goes? Um, I mean, we could, but then we'd miss your shot. How about if I meet you on the other side? <laughs> yeah, you can go around if you here, want. No, you stay there. Hop no, back in. No, no, no. I'll you, meet you. You know over. why? Uh, you know what? It's dark. You might trip. I ain't tripping. You might trip. <laughs> I'm, my, I'm the one that's tripping, right? <laughs> <laughs> See you there. See you there. Okay. What? Yes, I am, and proud of it. All right, that's much better. Is that much better? <laughs> You're not going around him either, are you? Yes, I am. All right, I'll meet you over there. Uh, He's going. <laughs> you, you want to meet me over there, or are you hopping? Yeah, right. Well, yeah, but I'm only hopping in if you don't go around him. I, well, I, I don't go around him. I'm just going to go straight, and then I'm on the actual road right now. There's no room. He's Where? making his room right now. Okay, good. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I don't have my seatbelt on. Yeah, I'll, I promise I'll stay right here till you're buckled in. I don't know if I, like I said before, I don't know if yeah. I want to be buckled in. <laughs> Get the fuck out of this thing. Well, you need to hold you down <laughs> when we bounce. Okay. You ready? Here we no. go. Wait, there is no room for error. There's zero room for error. And you see, you know where you're going, right? Yep. You know. What is this called? Dragon's Hill. This is Dragon's Hill. Dragon's Tail. Oh, Dragon's Tail. Yep. When we go down, it looks just like a Dragon's Tail. Holy cow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Yeah. Wh which way is he going? He's going off right there. That's actually, it's, when, when you get there, you'll see how it's actually pretty safe coming off right there. I mean, are you serious? I'm he serious. just freaking disappeared. Yep. See, he's doing fine. We'll, we're right behind him. And like you said, we're actually narrower, so we'll be okay. Oh my god. Okay, whatever you do, do not bail out, okay? Be just it. fine. Oh shit. If they could just see my face right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you on your brake right now or? Yes I am. I mean I feel better that we were like vertical over there and yeah. uh, and we were stopped. You so. like the flat ground, huh? Well, look, isn't that, well, look, look at all the sand over here. Yeah. Isn't it, like, doesn't it make it slippery? Uh, actually, these tires are designed for this. Are they? Yeah. Look, um, they disappeared again. Yeah, from right off that hill over there. Uh, this is called Entrada Sandstone. The Cowboys actually call it Slick Rock. Slick Rock? And that's how it got its name. The reason why was because when the Cowboys would come out here, all their horses had hooves with uh, metal shoes. Uh-huh. So the cowboys would have to take the metal sho shoes off because the rain would uh, the ho cause the horses to slip and fall. So they called it slick rock. They actually rode horses on this? Yep. But now we have rubber tires. Now we have rubber tires. And they'll actually put rubber hooves on horses out here and ride around. People ride horses out here? Yep. Has anybody gotten hurt? Uh, I'm sure it's happened once or twice. <laughs> 
Are we doing anything as steep as that one again? Um, not going down, no. Well, oh, actually, I lied. One time going down. Oh. But you know we've already been that way, so you know it's safe. Yeah, there's nothing safe that I've been on today. <laughs> Shut the light up so I don't bother the driver. Ah, you'll be fine if you turn it on too. Oh no. <laughs> this place we're going through here is kind of cool. See, we don't like to climb that. Uh, that if it if it didn't have that one climb right there, we uh -huh. would go out that way. But uh -huh. we just lose people on it all the time. Like they'll, I mean, they'll back, like they'll, they'll back down and freak out. Want to come back and drive them out ourselves? They have an eighty percent <coughs> return rate policy. Don't yeah. you know that? Yeah. Oh wait, who's got an eighty percent return rate? <laughs> That hill that he just that did? Hill does, yeah. So wait, so you can go up it and come back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it helps if I close my oh, yeah. door, see? There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta add that to my list of things. All right, seatbelts, doors closed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you know where you are, huh? Yep. Somewhere in Utah. <laughs> right. Sam Platt's on the beach area. Right? You ever see that movie, 127 Hours? No. Well, it's probably a good thing you didn't watch that freaking Oh, out. really? <laughs> Look at this road. This wow. is called the Rock Garden. Garden. Yeah, in stereo. The Rock... What? The Rock Garden. The Rock Garden. No, oh, okay. Yeah. See, what happens is the flash floods come through here, uh -huh. and these rocks will get moved around. It's never the same... Oh, really? ...after a flood comes through here. How often are there floods here? Oh, about, we get about two or three a year. Oh, really? Yeah. Really and, and you say the flash floods are that strong? Yep, they move that rocks they like They move this. rocks that big? Yep. Because when it rains that hard, uh -huh. the water has nowhere to go because it's all rocks. Right. So it channels into each other and creates big waterfalls and flash huh. floods. All these canyons that you're in were most likely created by flash floods. Wow. This is, this yeah. is crazy. Got that left tire off the ground, you feel that? Yeah. Oh, you felt that? Yeah. 
the fuck you know that tire went off the ground? I was higher than you. <laughs> <laughs> My side was higher than your side, man. Oh. Wow, somebody's leaking over here, huh? Yeah. Thank God we're not in his. What kind of stuff you got under there that protects this? Is skin, there some skin plates? There are skin plates. Yeah. So Kevlar skin plates, I believe. Kevlar skin plates. Okay, look, it's dark and lightning. Lightning. <laughs> kind of the scene of a horror movie, huh? Yeah, great. It was a dark, stormy night on Hills Revenge <laughs> Trail. Oh, Paul my. thought this was a normal tour, but little did he know, he was in for the scare of his life. <laughs> Oh, there you go. We'll throw that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so are we doing any more of that crazy shit again? Like what we're doing right now? Well, I can handle this. It's yeah. If we fall, it's well, only got, like 12 inches. I got two more hills to scare you on. Are you serious? Yep. This isn't one of them. Somebody's leaking there. Look at that. Make sure that his uh, briefcase is still there. Is it still there? Yep. Okay. Uh, gearbox. <laughs> yeah, so much dripping oil. That's usually coming out of the, uh, uh, the fill line. So you really, you're serious? We got two more like really steep ones? Yeah, the ones we came in on. So how high is he above us? He's probably 50 feet up. And how steep is this? So this hill right here is probably 55. Okay, so we're looking at 55 degrees and about 50 feet up. Is it a big drop on either side? Uh, no, not in this one. It's just a steep up. Just steep uphill, yeah. These are the two hills I was telling you about. Oh, and we're gonna do both of them at the same time? Uh, we'll climb one and then we'll hop up the next one. Okay. And how steep are these? So when we're climbing out, the second one's running about 65 degrees. 65 degrees? Yeah. What's the biggest one we've been on so far? Uh, this will be the big, well, the one I took you off was straight up and down. Uh, this one that we're going out on will be the steepest one to climb out. 65 degrees, yeah. we are going on. Big drop. I mean, I'm okay because if yeah. we go backwards, we ain't going far, yeah, right? Yeah, we go. We're not going And far. if we go side to side, it ain't far either, right? Yeah. Or you just shitting with me? I'm just shitting with you. <laughs> when I ask you, I say, "Are you ready?" You say, "I was born ready." Yeah, well, I wasn't born ready. Woo! So is that the? That's it. That's the scariest one. We're done, right? Uh, no. That's oh, right, that's right. right. There's another one. This one right here. You see the lights down there? Yeah. All that's, the way. that's them on the other side of the hill. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Oh, please. Do you want my, my serious sunglasses? Yeah, I know. Here we go. 65 degrees. Right up here. We're going to hit him. Ready? Because 
Once I got on video, I'm just gonna watch it again yeah. later. What, what, why are we going backwards? I don't know. Oh no, you're shitting me. Shit with you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's just self levels. You ready? Oh yeah, we're like freaking rocking we're like a little bit. We're right, rocking right. again, aren't we? That's gravity rocking us. Yeah, thank like God I'm in here. Like it's putting a baby to sleep. See, oh. now we're level again. You all right? Yeah. Okay, good. We're not going up that thing, whatever's in front of us. No, no, no. Okay, good. Actually, on this hill here, where the crack is, uh -huh. you can see that volcanic ash. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, we're not going up that. That's freaking... That's negative 20. Yeah, see the <laughs> ash in there? Where? Oh, okay. That's what all that is. So all the white that you see on top of the mountains, that's all volcanic ash. Oh, well, here it is, yeah. You, you don't really see, this white you're seeing right here right. is like a uh, monster or a lichen. Okay. It's actually a Holy mechanism. Yeah. Uh-huh. You see that lightning? I did see that. One thing you're going to notice when we get down in this area, uh -huh. the temperature is going to drop about 10 degrees. Oh, really? The reason why is because yes. all this grass. You feel it? You feel it? Stick your hand out. Yeah. Nice. There's no, yeah. Uh, there's no big rocks here reflecting, reflecting heat back the heat. Right, exactly. I can't even see. The lights are friggin' pointing up. Oh my god. And we're above the trees. We're above the tree line. Now your three types of trees that you have out here. Uh-huh. That tree right there is a uh, juniper tree. Juniper? And that's what they make uh, gin with, is with the berries right. off of that thing. Uh, one thing you'll notice about these juniper trees is like these ones over here, the branches are dead, see? Right. The reason why is during a drought season, the juniper tree will kill off the weakest branch and supply water to the rest of the body. Oh, okay. Yeah. This tree we're passing over here is uh, a pinion pine. Pinion pine. Yeah. And we actually use that for firewood around here. Oh, really? Yep. It burns really hot. I was told the reason why it burns so hot is because out in this desert, the sun hits it, makes the sap harden. Okay. It causes it to burn a lot harder. Another tree that's out here that we don't see is a cedar tree. Uh-huh. And that's what we use for our Christmas trees around here. Right. Oh, I cannot believe I did this today. This is amazing. Moab, Utah. It's like, it's just a huge playground, man. Yes, it is. I, you know. Wow. That's why so many people come to visit. driving distance. I mean, what is this? There's zip lining, there's... Whitewater rafting. Whitewater rafting. There's jet, jet boat, boating. Right. Um, there's... Cruises, some sort of... What else? Hiking. Um, hiking. Bike, oh, biking, hiking. Um, we're actually UTBing right now. Uh-huh. Dave's four-wheel drive, four by four in it, we're UTBing it. Oh, wait, say that again? Dave, Dave is four by fouring it, and we're UTBing it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what it's called. Yep, because we're in a UTV. He's in like a. Right. He's in a, a, a rock crawler. Every year we have two huge events. Oh yeah. We have the Jeep Safari, which Jeep brings, Safari. It brings all of the uh, people here with their off-road vehicles, okay. like like Dave's. Right. It's a ten-day event. Our population goes from about uh, oh ten thousand people to probably forty to fifty thousand people in those ten days. <laughs> It is the biggest event. It's biggest event. We have a saying. It's called right or light. You can only uh, turn right on Main Street, or you uh, have to turn left at a stoplight. Oh. Or you'll never get on Main Street. Wow. Then we have another uh, event called Rally on the Rocks. Rally on the Rocks. You'll see about 2,000 of these uh, UTVs like we're in uh, right now will show up. Right. They'll come out and do all these trails. Are there competitions, like who can get through the trail the fastest or something like um, that? Not on these, they'll actually set up courses out here. Okay. Um, the speed limit on these trails is 20 miles an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have a speed limit on the trails. Yeah, this fills up with water up here. This whole thing fills up um, with water? Up, up a little bit farther ahead of us, you'll be able huh. to kind of see. We call it Lake Michigan. Lake. <laughs> it's huge. Wait, so it'll go as high as these rocks oh, are up no, there? It'll go about two and a half feet deep. Okay. And so really, it really floods that oh, much. Oh yeah, we get big flash floods. So do you guys like the floods or no? 
Like, uh, do you like then it changes stuff? We they're a blessing and a curse. We need the water. Right. Bad. Keeps things exciting. Keeps things right, exciting. Right. That's exactly. That's yeah. It changes the trail. Uh, there was an area that we went through back there. You remember when I told you that we were actually lower than when we were before? Yeah. Um, that was completely washed out. The Hummer drivers, uh, uh -huh. Dave, all of, all of us who came out here oh. had to clean it up. Oh really? Yeah. They had to dig down and make the trail accessible again. So this whole thing floods up? Yep, it'll fill up where we're at. We'll get water, about two feet of water through here. So, so if you look at the trees on the yeah. left, you'll see all the Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so I'm looking at these uh, rocks here. This is the petrified sand? Yep. Because they're not really rocks. It's just very smooth and bumpy. Yep, petrified sand is what we're on right now. Petrified sand. The reason why they're so bumpy is like these rocks up here, they're nice and smooth right. because they're exposed to the elements. Right. Um, you're, they're getting sandblasted every day when the wind blows. So the, these rocks down here aren't getting that kind of uh, treatment. So when the wind blows and the sand hits it, that is like a sandblast. Just like a sandblaster. That's, that's yep. what, really? That's how the arches are created. That's how the arches are created. Oh, that's how the arches are created. Water, wind, and sand are what create all these formations out here. What'll happen is, is the water will get in these cracks. Right. And then it'll freeze and, and ice expands, right? Right. Breaks the rock. When it melts, it pulls the sand out with it, and then the wind blows the sand away. Huh. And then it'll use that sand to, um, to, to chip into these rocks. The only time that we don't come out here, and I don't know if, if you guys do it, is when there's ice. You know, okay. Come out really big. There's zero control on ice out here. Yeah, obviously. Are we going up that thing? Yep, that's the first hill we came in on. Oh, okay. So we're just going up and then back down and we're done. We're going to go up, park at the top, let you get your shot. Oh, where, where is he? He's back there behind us. Oh, so he's going to come back up this? Yep, he's going to come up this. And what's with all those lights over there? Oh, that's, that's just... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. It is... So those little tiny lights on my right is the city. And we are on this crazy ass. Now wait, we're gonna stop here? Yeah, we're gonna stop before I mean, people can see us. Oh my god. You know, I have to get out to videotape him. Um, wait, wait, let me oh, let's just go right. Oh, oh no 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 here. Oh my god. Okay, what are we doing now? We're gonna get out and film Dave coming back. Coming up here? Yeah. Just like, you know, um, Wait, we... You're fine for about three feet. Just stay close to the rig. Just hold on to the rig and then you yeah, can walk yeah, right behind yeah. you. So you can see Dave right over there. Oh, Are you looking at something specific over here? Uh, you know, I kind of just keep myself centered on this part of the hill. Uh -huh. um, I know where the road is. Right. So, what road? I, yeah. Is that what they call this? I'm sorry, a uh, trail is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to keep myself centered through here. Right. There is actually a center? Yeah, we're on it right now. Good. Keep it that way. Yeah. These scratches in the rock here. Is that, that's not really scratches, that's, that's where people formations, were, right? Or? That's where people weren't keeping it centered. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, some of it is. Really? This hill right here, you know, we uh -huh. tell everybody, this will break you in fast when you come <laughs> up it. I mean, it just, this is scary. It kind of gives you a taste of everything that's out here. I mean, this is really like this adrenaline, adrenaline junkie yeah. sport here. I mean, you know, like I said, I, get, I got 19 skydives, so whatever, you know? Yeah. I have a cutaway. I cut away at like the 12th, 13th jump. Yeah. But whatever, and I was pumped up. Yeah. But over here, there is no reserve parachute. No, just a roll cage. <laughs> Does it work? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you're going to bounce your, you're going to bang your head on, on it a couple times. Yeah, you are. You know, but it could be a lot worse. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just amazed about all this. Yeah. I mean the 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 formations, the the people that want to do this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's the most interesting part about this trail. <laughs> is the people it, that run it. Well, yeah, I mean, what amazes me is is what kind of people want to do this every day. Like you're you're a special breed. Well, thank you. Is that a compliment? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, to to just get that gut wrenching like 
probably somebody standing up there on that hillside. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, all the way up there. To, 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 no, to, to have that feeling of, of living on the edge, literally. Yeah. I mean, when you say living on the edge, this is living on the edge. Yeah, guys, you made it. Woo! I mean, and you see it on video or whatever, but it doesn't, it's, it, it's, do it it's not the same, man. It's just not, as, as if you're on it and actually doing it yeah. and looking down and, and yeah. it's like knowing that I'm putting my life in somebody else's hands yeah. for three hours. Yeah. See, <laughs> and we know that you do that and we, re, we, we, we you know, we should yeah. give you guys the utmost respect for doing that and we, we try to uh, portray a level of professionalism to where you guys feel comfortable with us. You guys ready to go back and you guys to feel safe. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll meet back at the hotel. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, we'll meet you over there then, I guess. Right. I might get these people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you gotta grab everybody else. How was it? All right. So how was it? It was wicked awesome. That's great. So you had a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you ever do anything like this again? Or would you ever do anything like this again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do it? That was your first time. Yeah. I think so. You had a blast. Is there any moment that you just want to get off or no? No. There was no no time that you were ever scared. Not at all? She's, she's a brave little thing. We Did you hear me screaming? We have a lot of confidence in our driver. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights and... That was tough for me. Yeah. I, was a little, I was a little bit hesitant at first, but uh, as soon as I saw how well he handled the rig, I knew we were okay. That's great. Alright, glad you guys enjoyed it. We sure did.